Hello, beautiful one. Relax and let me teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. Now, when you see this kind of question, you see that we have two equations here. And each time you have two equations or more, and there are two or more variables, you know that the variables we have here are X and Y. Just remember that such equation is what we call system of equations or simultaneous equation. And I'm going to teach you how to solve this. It's just so easy. Don't forget to tell us how it helps in the comment. We always want to serve you best. Now, to solve this, what do we do? We begin with solution. So what do you do? Repeat what you have. So you have X plus Y is 8 and XY is 48. So we can call this equation 1 and this is 2. So we're going to use our substitution method and we can choose to make X subject from 1 and then substitute in 2. You can also do in vice versa, okay? But let's go with 1. So it's going to be, so we have make X subject in 1. So if you do that, we are going to have X plus Y is equal to 8. So to make X subject means to remove this plus Y. And to remove it, you know, you need to subtract. So in that case, we have X is going to be 8. This will be minus Y. So we're going to use this value of X, put it in equation 2 to help us to get the value of Y. Now to do that, see what you have. So we're going to put this X in equation 2. So we now have, this is x, y. So our x is 8 minus y. So we have 8 minus y for x. Then y is equal to 48. You also know that if you have a, b, a, b is also the same as b, a. Okay, that commutative. So what do you do? It means that this is also the same as y into 8 minus y is equal to 48. So quickly distribute this into this expression. So if you do that, y multiplies this gives you 8y and this multiplies gives you negative y squared and everything is equal to 48. Did you observe anything? See that the highest power of this y is 2 and this is leading you to a quadratic equation. So what you do is just to rearrange that the one with the highest power of y comes first. And you have to be careful to know that this 8y is the one carrying positive. y squared is carrying negative, okay? And 48 is also carrying positive. So to rearrange this, we have negative y squared plus 8y. This will be now minus, okay? So you subtract. And to keep solving, we can choose to remove this negative sign here. To do that, just quickly divide this equation by negative 1. So if you do that, divide by negative 1, it gives you y squared. Divide this by negative 1, it gives you negative 8y. Divide this, it gives you positive 48 is equal to 0. So remember your formula, y is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we're going to plug these values into this formula to get the values of y. And at this point, it shows what we are doing interesting. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Give this a like, share with your friends, and also share your thoughts about this class with us. We always want to serve you best. Let's keep doing this to have. So remember that your coefficient of y squared, which is 1, is your a. So our a is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is negative 8. Our C is the constant, which is 48. So plug this into the formula. We have Y is equal to negative your B. Remember, your B is negative 8. So be careful to put it in brackets. Then plus or minus square root of negative 8 squared minus 4 is multiplying 1 times 48. And everything is divided by 2 times 1. So if you keep solving, we have y is, this will give us 8 plus or minus square root of negative 8 squared is negative 8 multiplied by itself to give us 64. Then when you multiply this, it gives negative 192, okay? 
divided by, so this will give us, multiply it, it gives you 2. So keep solving, we have, and y will be 8 plus or minus square root of, if you subtract this, it gives you negative 128, okay, divided by 2. Now you see that there is a negative sign here. So this is leading you to a complex solution. So to remove this negative sign, y will be equal to 8, okay? So we have 8 plus or minus root of, this is the same as negative 1 multiplied by 128 and is divided by 2. So to keep simplifying, this will give us y is equal to 8 plus or minus. If you have root a, b, it is root a multiplied by root b. So we can split this to have root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 128, okay? And everything is divided by 2. So keep solving. y is equal to 8 plus or minus. Now remember, each time you see this, square root of negative 1, it is always equal to i, okay? So we're going to apply this here. So we have i, this is an imaginary unit, then multiply by this 128 is the same thing as when you multiply 64 by 2, it will give you 128, okay? And is divided by 2. So keep solving. y is equal to 8 plus or minus, we have i is multiplied by, this is root of 64 multiplied by root of 2, okay, is divided by 2. So we have y is 8 plus or minus, square root of 64 is 8. So it's going to be 8 root 2 multiplied by this i. Did you see? And it's divided by 2. So this is the same as y equals to 8 divided by 2 plus or minus 8 root 2i also divided by 2. So if you keep solving, we have y is equal to, if you divide this, you have 4 plus or minus. This divides this will give us 4 root 2i. So this means that the first value of y is 4 plus 4 root 2i. And then the second value of y is 4 minus 4 root 2i. So this gives us the two values of y. But remember, we are also asked to find the x value. So we need to use these two values of y to find their corresponding x values. And to do that, recall we said earlier that our x is equal to 8 minus y. So what we need to do now is for when y, so we have for when the first y value is 4 plus 4 root 2i. Plug this into this. So we are going to have the first value of x will be 8 minus our y is this. Remember, this is an expression showing one value for y. So you need to put it in brackets, okay? So that this sign affects the whole values inside. So if you keep simplifying, the first value of x will give us 8 minus you are free to use one, negative one, okay, to multiply this, okay, so that this sign will be affected. It doesn't change anything. So when you use this on this, it gives us negative four. Use this here, it gives us negative four root two i. So if you simplify this, we have first value of x is, if you subtract this, it gives you four minus four root two i. So it means that when we have the first um, first value of x to be this, then the corresponding value of y is 4 plus 4 root 2i. So this gives us the first set. Now let's also plug in the second value of y as 4 minus 4 root 2i into this statement. So if you do that, we have the second value of x will be 8 minus this expression, which is 4 minus 4 root 2i. So simplifying this, we have the second value of x is, remember we said we can use negative 1 to distribute. So we now have 
8 minus 4, this multiplies this, gives us positive 4 root 2i. So if you simplify the second value of x, subtract this, you have 4 plus 4 root 2i. So if we gather this, it's going to give us the second value of x and this corresponding y will be 4 plus 4 root 2i. And then the second value of y is 4 minus 4 root 2i. So this gives us the set. Now let's repeat this first set. Okay. And that is 4 minus 4 root 2i and 4 plus 4 root 2i. So this gives us the solution for this particular system of equation. Did you observe anything? Let us know what you observed in the comment. Discuss it with us. If this tutorial helps you, don't forget to like it, share with others. And if you are still new, subscribe for more tips. I will see you in our next class to tell you more. Stay tuned. I'll see you today. Bye-bye.